Hey! Yeah! There's a new kid on the block. See? Peeing all over the place. Still young. Still new. Hey! Hey there! Hey there, you exciting doggy! Hey there! Oh! Oh, you're peeing all over the place! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Get him! Oh! Splashing me in the face! Holy oh, That's a major pee that one is! Yes! Oh yes! So excited! I get you! Oh! Splashing me again! Oh my goodness! My goodness! This is terrible. That's all pee there. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. We're going to have to rinse it off here. We're going to have to rinse it off. This is the new kid on the block. Yep. He's still young. Yeah, that's your pee there. That's your pee there, pal. That's your pee there. Oh, sorry. Let's try it again. She. She's still young. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anyways. Just wanted to come and introduce you to her. Can you get it? Can you get it? Can you get it? No? Can you get it? Can you get it? I think we already introduced you to her once. You want this bunny rabbit? Oh, oh look, oh you got it. Oh. Arr, 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 arr. Okay, well I'm going home, I gotta wash my face now. He's splashed all over me. Arr, 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 arr. I wonder if you'd eat some of Paula's cookies. Yeah, throw it at me, will ya? Yeah, yeah. All right. You splashed all over me, you silly dog. You silly dog. The new kid on the block. Well, today we're going to do something different. We are going to make Japanese apricot wine or liqueur for you and we're going to show you how we go about doing that very soon as soon as I get back to the house wash my hands and wash my face now thanks dog I'll see you later buddy all right as we head back to the house you can see it's a beautiful day today sort of cloudy and sunny and stuff uh, well you're looking at the roads you're not looking at the cloudy and sunny the hydrangeas are doing well the interesting thing is, in the daytime, they look like they get kind of all dehydrated like this and fall apart. But at nighttime, in the morning time, they all go back into a beautiful cluster, just like this. And normally you would say, well, you have to water them, but we don't have to because we get enough moisture here. This is just the way it goes in the daytime. So, let's go inside again. Back into the cave. Well, before we get started on making the uh, plum wine, I just thought I'd show you the parcels of kimono that are waiting to go out to various people. Uh, I've already sent one out today and uh, yesterday I did another four or five. So it's moving quite along. Thank you very much people. It is really appreciated. It will help me get to Puerto Rico to see Kayak and Jose. Cute. Get married. All right, let's go and take a look at how we're going to get the plums working. I have to set the computer camera up because I need free hands to do this. Every few years I make oh, about um, 5 to 10 kilograms, that's roughly 10 to 20 pounds, of pickled plums. And I still have some left in the fridge. And this year I thought, well, Maya said, are you going to be making umeboshi again? I said, no, not this year. But then I thought, well, we have some growing on the tree outside, so maybe I'll make some, just a little bit, maybe I'll make some some plum wine which they call Japanese apricot wine so what we have is I've collected this little bit of these little apricot plums right here see this is all I could get from our tree and which is not enough so then I went out and I bought some more a kilogram which is about two pounds right here and we are going to take them and wash them in water and once we wash them in water we will rinse them dry them and then remove the center stem here with a toothpick just like that okay the other ingredients that we require are Rock sugar, this kills me, this is like a kilogram, which is two pounds, but we'll only be using a small portion of it. You can see they even have a picture here of how to make 
your own plum wine. And then the other important thing we need is this bottle, which is full of white liquor, 1.8 liters of 35% white liquor. And the plums and the sugar will go in here. And that's it. And then we just wait. So let's clean them up and show you the next stage when we put it in with sugar. All right, well, we finished washing them now, as you can see, right here. And we're going to put them here on this towel and just sort of cover them up and dry them a little bit. And because they really do need to be quite dry, we're going to spread them out on this Zaru, Z-A-R-U, like this, and just let them dry overnight. Might as well mix the other ones in here as well. They really do need to be dry because it doesn't work well to mix put them into the alcohol and the sugar and everything to let them ferment with water on them. All right, so we'll be back tomorrow to continue. It's always best to give them a little bit of fresh air. And since it's not raining right now, it very well could, but the sun is sort of shining and the blue is out, but the clouds are coming and thunder and lightning and everything. Anyways, the wind is blowing, it's very nice. And we'll let it dry naturally out here for a few hours until it's time to take it in. Alrighty, if I'm squinting, it's because the sun's right there. It, it really is very simple making this. How it will taste, your guess is, is as good as mine. <laughs>